What's up guys, I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be picking up my 2019 Hobie Outback and then I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough of the kayak. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Here I'm on my way to Delaware Paddle Sports. It's about a two hour drive from where I am in Maryland. They are one of the very first shops in the area to receive a shipment of Hobie Outbacks. Delaware Paddle Sports is like a kayaker's paradise. They have a ton of kayaks and all the accessories you could ever want. Unwrapping my new Hobie Outback was like Christmas in September. Kevin and Chris were awesome with getting my new outpack ready for me to take home. Alright guys, so I'm back home and I've safely got my 2019 Hobie Outback here from uh, Delaware Paddle Sports. It's about a two hour drive for me, but it was well worth the drive. Um, so this is my 2019 Hobie Outback. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour so you can see uh, what it looks like. Um, it is a little bit different from the older uh, Outbacks, actually a lot different. So uh, let's take a look here. So on the front here, we still have the same handle here. Um, the hatch is a little bit different. Um, it's actually, it looks like the hatch is smaller. And I think that's what they actually said in uh, other videos that I've watched. But it's a lot easier to open with uh, just these bungees right here. It's way easier to uh, open and close. Here's the inside. You can see you got your sailing mast again from the previous Outback. I actually use this to mount the camera. Oh, and that's my Mirage Drive insert when I'm not using it. Um, and it comes with the 180 drive. And the nice thing is it already has tur turbo fins, so you don't have to worry about installing uh, turbo fins later on. And then over here, this is the uh, rudder control to uh, put your rudder up and down um, and then on this side this is for the uh, the transducer with that uh, that guardian transducer um, there was uh, one thing when you open the Hobie Outback um, you do actually have to um, install the guardian transducer mount uh, they actually did that for me at Delaware Paddle Sports because um, it's actually not attached, but it is attached now. So now I can pull it and deploy it and it'll go up and down whenever uh, I uh, hit something or if I want to just keep it up, I can uh, use this. And then on each side, there is a rod holder, uh, which I actually use these quite a bit on my old 2016 Hobie Outback. The nice thing here is they have tabs here now where you can easily open them instead of having to dig and open them like before. And the great addition they have here is the uh, H-rail here. They also have the uh, nice tracks here 
um, and of course these nice bungees for your accessories. And then also here's a little slot you can put your pliers, knife, or what have you. And the nice thing too, they've already included the rubberized um, pockets. Um, this is actually one of the first things I changed when I got my 2016 because I knew hooks were going to get stuck in the, um, the regular mesh. Um, and then the nice thing here too is they have these, if you put a, uh, a tackle box in here, you can uh, lock them down nicely or keep them nice and secure by pulling these bungees here and uh, keeping them safe that way. Then on the side here we get the holder for your paddle. And on each side of the kayak is now a rudder control. So you can steer on both sides. So there's the one on the other side. And of course here is the vantage seat. The nice thing they did with the vantage seat is they made it so that the the pegs actually stay out and then if you want to retract them or the kickstand there you go if you want to retract them you can pull that and it'll actually uh, pull the uh, kickstand back but by default it actually comes out that's probably one of the most annoying things in my 2016 Outback so what I did was I reversed the spring which made the pegs just stay out and then under the seat we have the handles. There's another one on the other side. So you can uh, carry it a little bit easier. Then on the back here, we've got rod holders again. And these are great to have this. Just this little tab makes it so much easier. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it's kind of annoying to pull these open. And then on the back side, we've got the uh, nice tracks again. And then got nice bungee here, the same thing. You could actually put a nice tackle box here and then hold your tackle boxes in with these bungees. The great thing here is that uh, now I can, with this massive backspace here, um, I could easily bungee down my cooler or crate, whatever you guys use back here. And I actually asked them about this part right here because it looks like the uh, circle hatch will fit in here. Um, it doesn't actually, it actually fits, but not um, perfectly. You actually have to um, cut it kind of recessed here. Um, Actually, let me go get the uh, hatch so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys, so I'm back. I have the uh, circle hatch here. Um, as you can see, it actually fits right in this uh, circle here. But uh, the only thing is it like fits the whole um, radius of it. So you would actually have to um, probably create a template because you could see that this lip here or this lip here um, I'd have to create a template place it on here and then cut it out so that it's maybe about a looks like about an inch from the center I'm sorry from the outside and then this should fit nicely actually um, the only thing is if you got these bungees here um, you're gonna have to either push them back to open it and the other thing they mentioned when I was at Delaware Paddle Sports is they got to figure out if there's actually anything underneath here. So if I, you know, start cutting, uh, am I going to cut a cable or, you know, or what have you? Because now you're steering stuff. It's all, it's like it's all integrated into here. So if you had any steering problems, you'd pop this off, I would imagine. But the nice part is this back part is, uh, it's huge. I mean, I could store so much stuff back here. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll do another video showing you my fishing setup when I figure out everything. 
All right, so on the back here, it very much resembles a PA or even a compass, actually. Um, and you can see here the nice new rudder. Uh, this is actually not deployed. But if you were to deploy it, let's see. Actually, let me go deploy it real quick. All right, so now the rudder is deployed. Um, I did have a concern about, you know, turning on this. Um, the guys at Delaware Paddle Sports said they uh, actually did a demo and it turned on a dime. So I'll find out probably tomorrow I'm going to try to go out and uh, test it. So then also they got this, um, this little piece here that will help when you're going to be loading this on a car top. So now this will sit on the ground so that will actually protect your, your rudder here. Then on the other side, it's the same thing. You got your nice tracks, the bungee. Um, oh, actually, you can move these bungees up and down too. It's pretty cool. But the nice thing is they're already here and I don't have to worry about, you know, installing uh, tracks. They have the same tool holders here. Same uh, on the other side. Same as the other side. Rod holder, and again, you got your steering. And of course, another paddle holder. That's where actually I would keep my uh, stakeout pole. Just show you guys that in a future video. And the same H rail with the tracks, bungee, tool holder, and then the square hatch, which I changed in my 2016 Hobie Outback, but it wasn't configured this way. It was configured um, sideways, or I guess this way, whatever that's called. And it also comes already with the nice um, tray. I can pull it out. I can't pull it out. There you go. And also the bottle opener. And also this little mesh here. They said keep your bottle caps, but I'd throw some lures or something in there. Uh, also it comes with these reflected strips, actually. You can put them on the front of your kayak here, which I'll probably do later because uh, I have a uh, big speed jet. So I need to put my numbers on here too. Uh, this probably actually go up here, actually. And then with the uh, Mirage Drive, which is different from my 2016, is now you can just press the top here to adjust your length. And then of course the, it's actually pretty easy to, um, Very easy to uh, pull them into reverse and then pull it into forward. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right guys, so a couple of things I left off yesterday. Um, it's raining, so I gotta do this real quick. Is there are now two sets of scuppers on the uh, 2019 Outback. So you can put them either in the front, put them in the back, and then also with the, um, the new hatch, they put these foam pads. It's like actually makes it flush. So when you stand, this whole thing is pretty much flush. So you can stand pretty comfortably and these foam pads are pretty nice. But um, I think that's everything. Um, if I left out anything, I'll let you guys know. Um, I did actually didn't show the uh, Guardian fish finder mount, but I'll show you that in a future video because I'll show you how I do my fish finder install. So stay tuned for that. That is the 2019 Hobie Outback. Kind of in a nutshell, I rushed this a little bit. Um, I may do this again to uh, go in a little more detail when I've actually had a chance to really look over this 
awesome kayak. So if you guys have any comments or questions, um, please comment in the comment section below and I'll uh, try to answer all of them. And you know, if I make a future video, um, I can actually include, you know, an answer to your questions about the uh, new 2019 Hobie Outback. So stay tuned for that video and uh, I'll show you actually a video in the near future of my fishing setup uh, when I figure out how I'm going to lay out everything, which I pretty much know what I'm going to do on my head. So, If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know I upload a new video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.